Hi YouTube, this is Betty with Scrap Passion on One, and I have a quick tutorial uh, to share with you guys. Um, I had a request by a subby to do a tutorial on the herringbone technique. Um, I created uh, two cards um, using this technique, and I'm going to insert one of the pictures of the card so you can see uh, the card. So I'm going to share with you uh, real quickly how I created the look on that card. So um, you're going to start with a piece of cardstock, and this um, cardstock measures four and one eighth by five and five eighths. You do not have to use this size. It really depends on the size card that you will be creating. This is going to go on the front of an A2 size card. So whatever size card you will be creating will determine what size card stock you will use. You're going to need some adhesive. And what I'm using today is the Sizzix Adhesive Sheet Pack. And um, it's just... Uh, sheet you know with the adhesive on it um, you just peel off the backing and this is real good to use like for die cuts when you're cutting those out to already have the adhesive on the back you do not have to have this you can just use your ATG gun to run your adhesive on your cardstock or any type of dry adhesive that you uh, choose to use or that you have on hand so you do not have to use this um, it's just what I'm using today so I've already applied the adhesive on um, to save time. I've already cut it down. And what you're going to do, I forgot to mention that you will, um, if you use this, cut it the same size, of course, as your cardstock. Because you want to cover this piece here with um, adhesive. You're also going to need um, some strips of paper. So uh, what I did, I just cut out some strips of paper from a 6x6 six six, uh, paper pad. It was the Authentique. And um, I'm going to be using three patterns today. Um, it does not matter, um, you know, um, how many patterns you use. Um, I'm just going to be using three today. Um, the size strips that you'll need, I like to use different sizes. Here's one of the strips. You can use anyway, anywhere from a half an inch or smaller. Um, an inch strip to me is a little bit too large, so a half an inch or smaller. And I just randomly cut out strips, um, different sizes, you know. So, and I, like I said, I'm going to be using three patterns. So let's get started. And this white on white, I may need to use something darker where you can see this. I'm going to pause the video and get some darker cardstock. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do, how are you going to start the card? You're going to take one of your patterns and adhere it across the, um, your piece of cardstock like so. Just like that. Okay. Then you're going to take another piece of strip or your strip of paper. You can use the same pattern if you choose, or um, you can use a different pattern. I'm going to use the same pattern. And you're going to apply that strip perpendicular from the first piece that you placed. Like this. Okay? I'm going to take another strip of um, paper and put it on the other side, again perpendicular like so. See that? So this is the start of your card. And then what you're going to do next, you're going to apply your strips down this way, across this way, down this way, and then across. So let's do that, okay? Alright, let's put... So you're going to use a different pattern. And you're going to apply, let's put it um, down this way. See if I'm in frame. And then, and make sure that it's butted up against the other strips really, really well so you won't have any spaces. Okay. And then what you can do is you can take another piece and you're going to go this way. So really you're going to form, you got four quadrants. I forgot to include that. Let me go over that but let's put this strip down so you have four quadrants 
one, two, three, and four. So those are the four areas that you're going to be filling in with your strips of paper. So you could either do one quadrant at a time, or what I like to do is just form a triangle in each quadrant to kind of help me, you know, a little bit. So we've already started this right here. So you know you're going to go, you know, in that format. So let's get another strip of paper. Let's see, and I'll show you what I mean. You're going to go like this. And then make sure I'm in frame. You're going to use that same pattern and, you know, create like a triangle like that. See that? How that's looking? And then you're going to get a different um, pattern and you're going to just form your triangle. To me, it's easier. Let me get some scissors to do it that way but you can do it what suits your fancy but this is what works for me oh gosh okay so I just like to form a triangle there and that just kind of helps me a little bit and then when you're forming your triangle see how I use the same color here same color here same or, or pattern same pattern here here and here and so now I'm moving on to my third pattern and I am using three patterns today you can use as many as you like to me if you start using too many you might get confused so if you're doing this for the first time you might may want to start out with three that way you know you can kind of get the hang of it and then once you get the hang of it you can go on up to more patterns let me butt that up against that a little bit better you got to make sure you got it um, really in there well with no spaces because if you have some spaces in there, it's going to look kind of, you know, it's going to look off. Okay, I still got a space. Hold up. Okay. Okay. Now you see what I got here? And don't worry about this because we're going to go and cut all of this off, you know, your little tab. So I wouldn't even worry. You can cut that down. So then you're going to go to your next um, quadrant here. And you're going to start your um, start there. And so we're going to lay that down and we're going to fill in that quadrant. And um, see here. You're going to go this way. Because remember, each time in your quadrant, you're going to be, you know, making the triangle shape. You have this here and then this here. Okay, so then you're going to go with your another pattern and put it down. And I'm using the same paper here. Okay, and so this is what you got here. Uh, let me butt that up against there a little bit closer. And get that just right there. Okay. See what I got now? And like I said, if you have a little open space there, you can always cut that off. I wouldn't even worry about that. Or you can find a little teeny tiny piece of paper or strip. Let me see if I have one um, to fill that in. I don't know if I got a little teeny tiny one. But anyway, I'll go in and find a little teeny tiny one to fill that in. So anyway, you get the gist of what I'm doing here. I'm just filling in these spaces, like I said, and forming like the triangle in each one. And so um, we're going to go on this side. And let me see. You're going to go here. And then I'm gonna go this way. Okay. So that's the start of that one. And then you're gonna go on the other side over here. And I hope this is making sense of what I'm doing. And it's really fun. It's like, you know, when you get finished with it, it's going to be a really, really fun pattern. 
and um, it makes your cards look really cute and unique and um, you're not going to have to do much to your card once you get this really fun pattern going on in the background um, you're not going to have to do much to it at all so if you notice uh, I'm using when I form my little triangles in my quadrants I'm using the same color paper if you can tell there see and that's kind of how you do it so I'm going to fill in the rest of it and then I'm going to come back and let you see what it looks like okay you guys I filled in all the um, spaces and this is what you end up with and so what you're going to do you're just going to take a pair of scissors or you can use your trimmer I prefer to use my scissors and you're going to just cut off all the ends and so I'm going to do that just I like to turn it over and I was practicing on this side so just trim all of that off and this is a great way um, to use up all of those scraps that you have I love to do this to go ahead and use up my paper pad and um, use all those scraps so I love to do this technique for that purpose as well and also because it's really fun and like I said it gives your card such a very unique look about it so I hope you guys will try it out and um, let me know what you think about it but it's really really fun Okay, and I got some pieces, Miss. Let me cut this this part off. Cut this off. Okay, the other side was a practice run. But <laughs> so this is what you end up with. You see that cute, that cool pattern? Now, if you can see, I have a little piece of white here, and just a tiny bit there. I'm going to take my uh, paper trimmer and uh, trim that off and let you see how it will look then. Let's see here. I'm going to take some of that off and just take a teeny 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 bit off here. Okay, there, that looks better. So see that cool pattern? Now, you know that would be too, too cute on the front of a card. And like I said, when you use this um, herringbone technique for your cards, it makes your cards just look, have such a unique look about it. And like I said, all I would have to do is just add a sentiment and some really pretty uh, ribbon. And voila, your card is done. So try this technique out. Um, I hope that this tutorial was helpful um, to someone, and um, I hope that you give it a try. As always, thank you guys for tuning in, and you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.